kind of Okay, um, welcome. My name is Owen. I'm looking to a, a, a cow, uh, uh, elephant, um, now the one that is standing in the front of us. There's some um, features that are so easily for you to pick up so quickly that can um, give you the result that this is a female, this is a male. Of course, uh, if you look from the, from the forehead, yes, it's got uh, an angle uh, forehead, which is the male has got uh, the, a very rounded forehead. And also come down to the to the tux. If it looks mostly uh, the the tux of the females, they are very thin, and then uh, um, more pointed is straight up, different from the um, from the the male, where the tux of the male, if they are starting to pronounce going out, they are more splitted on the side. So that's so easily for you to pick up. With, this is a female. This is a male. Yes, of course, you can find some of the males that got a uh, little bit similar tax from the females, but the difference is from the pronunciation, how they, um, uh, they, they come out from the, from the scar itself. Yeah. Uh, Tell me across to me here. So if you look at uh, the frame of the, of the female, when the tax that comes out from the, uh, from, the, from the chambers, if you look, the female, they are very more uh, narrow, and then for the male, they come more wider. So, and also the tux is looks very thick compared to the tux of um, uh, of, of the females. So this is the uh, the different that you can uh, also pick up from the from the tux of the female and the male. But you, as I said before, you can find the tux of the uh, we can find the female doesn't have tux, and then we can just go on the on the forehead. You can see here. Yeah. This is the. Uh, the point that you can look at it, you can see uh, Temisa, she's got uh, so like an angle here. The, the male doesn't have, doesn't have that. It's very flat, it's very rounded. So this is where you can, you can pick up so quickly if you find the female doesn't have uh, the tags. Hi everyone, um, my name is Owen. So I want uh, to show you the different uh, if you find the dung of the elephant in the bush and the urine at the side. So I'm going to give you the, the difference from the urine of the male and the urine of the females. So here, there is the dung and then there is the urine here. A uh, little bit clear, uh, we can see uh, where the urine is started to hit from the ground. So this this uh, urine and the dung is for the, is for the female. So... To identify this is you see, the females when they're urinating, uh, there will be a gap in between the dung and the urine. So this is the female's uh, urine and then the dung for the for the female. So the male, if uh, if the dung of the male, uh, the organs of the of the male, they comes out from the pocket and then they stretch uh, backwards and which means the urine is going to be right on the on the dungs. So this is how you can identify. It can be odd one, not fresh looking order but if you find it in a heap like this and just check it if you see there's a little bit of a, a, a digging of, a, of a, some of like pouring water which means this the urine was the female and then this the dung over there for, if, for the male you can look on the dung it's being, being washed so that you can see that the summer was been pouring the water because the male urinates on the dung so this is how we can identify the urine of the male and the females thank you very much So the elephants are now um, digging and you'll see they actually throw the soil as well onto them and with times they will also take a bite um, which is more you know regarding the nutrients and the minerals and then also for the um, sometimes they'll do the same and they'll actually get some uh, bulbs down there.
Come on, shake it. Take it. Doing this for Ethan. fish. Hi oh boy. Hi hey fishy. Hello. Hi my boy. Fish, let's be also.
We also noticed that as this is, um, sand and soil sticking into their trunks, they kind of blow their noses, their trunks, mm. to get that out. there's a certain level where they don't need the sand to go that way in the nostrils. Yeah. If they reach that area and I think they start itching or more disturbing and then they just blow it. Yeah. And they also do that even if they, they eat sometimes mm -hmm. um, and there's you know a lot of yeah I've, I've seen that when even with leaves. Yeah. Fruit, grass. Yeah. Easy, my girl. That's okay. It's not ak. It's not ak. Yeah, I'm also a baby elephant. <laughs> Sit down. So mostly in the morning she spends the time with Kambura, most of the day, but I see from the afternoons the Glacieri also moves in, but only the afternoons. <coughs> Magnificent.